Oh my goodness, look at you. Look at you. You're so independent, Nala. Yeah, girlfriend. You are a mess. <laughs> look at you. You weigh 12 pounds now. I know, but you can't get out the window. You can't escape. You're not a fan. You did so good. You did. So you don't like coming to the vet? You have to come every once in a while. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm doing a coaching call right now. Oh, okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to get the girl. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. She should be fine. Okay. She's a little dramatic. A little dramatic, got it. How was the vet? Yeah. I know. I know. Let Sandy, 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 Sandy. She she's had an experience. Go, go, yeah, go to bed. I'm uh I'm assisting Isaiah with a uh, commercial video shoot of a gym. Yeah, we're gonna make them a commercial. It's also commercial, as in commercial work. Yeah. It's a commercial commercial. Let's go shot. So what do we need to get right now? Him doing three, two, one, go? Yeah, pretty much. So I could just get like a great job, everybody, or something like that. Right. <laughs> Man, you gotta be a real jerk to ask a guy to work out after his workout, you know? And I tried. I was like, I don't wanna do this after. They hate me every time. I didn't get a shot of Chris, I got a shot of Bobby. That's fun. The only thing we have left is uh, to wake up at sunrise tomorrow to get the sunrise shot. <laughs> oh, hey, Grandma Donna. Hi! We came by to say hello. Well, hello. Oh, okay. And the uh, father's still sleeping. Oh, he's still sleeping. You we won't bother him. him. No, we won't bother him. We'll come by later. Do come by. We will. We'd like to see him. We just wanted to say hi. <gasps> I'm glad we got to see you, though. How are you hey. doing? <laughs> hi. Hey. We were out doing a, a video shoot today for a company, so oh. we were in the neighborhood. Nice so. camera. Thank you. Did you get a good picture of me? We did. <laughs> 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 you look great. Ooh. <laughs> Oh yeah, hard. we're at we were at a gym. So we you, you done men? Huh? You done men to the gym? Yeah, went to the gym. We went last night. We watched other people work out. We didn't work out. Well, you have fun with your girlfriends. We'll we'll come by later and say uh, hello to them. I'm going to go to look at the men's warehouse. Okay. okay. I want to get your father a blazer for Christmas. Okay. And Where's he gonna wear a blazer? For Christmas. You gonna Dad. drag him to church? No. Oh. You yeah. ought to. He needs it. <laughs> I said, I want you to come twice a year, Easter and Christmas. Right. Well, he says in there, he said, I'm trying to think of an excuse mm -hmm. not to go to church for Christmas. <laughs> I said, you know what? You're with the wrong woman. <laughs> I said, well, let me tell you this. If you don't want to go, you don't have to go. But I'm going. But anyway, yeah. I'm glad you stopped. Yeah, good to see you. I love you. Love you too. I love you too, little, little guy. <laughs> little love guy. you too. <laughs> okay. Good seeing you, Grandma Donna. Okay. Have a good time. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're actually... Uh, Got breakfast for the fam. They'll appreciate it. I don't even know they're awake yet. Hey, you're awake. Cause the dogs are out. No, I I, I let the dogs out. Oh yeah. Just like hanging with the boys today. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I'm pulling out my prom picture so I Time can for... show her what I want. <laughs> we need haircuts. We're finally home. Yeah, I think it went well. That's the way to shoot a commercial sh shot. Um, shoot is like that is with two people. What's that? You talking trash? 
he's enthusiastic about the day. Yeah. And he woke up early. I know. He's very enthusiastic about his day. Why, why are you annoyed that I'm like, I'm let's just, go? I'm just tired a little bit. Man, I'm 41 years old. You need to buck up, young man. It's Saturday. Let's go. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Got a refrigerator. Abby's asleep. She's taking a nap. She's taking an uh, early afternoon nap. We're putting a refrigerator down here. Um, we consistently run out of our, our fridge is great, but it's a cabinet depth fridge. So it's not very deep at all. It looks big, but it's not deep. So like fitting a turkey in there or two turkeys, since we have the whole family over, we're going to fry one and, and bake the other, yeah. you know, things like that become very challenging. We run out of well, just quickly. Like the baking dishes are super yeah, hard. Baking dishes don't fit like yeah. all that stuff. So we got, it's a smaller fridge, but it's going to go in here. Um, but we could do like a, it would be like a beverage fridge and stuff like that mm -hmm. also. Well, we already have a freezer outside. So we yeah, we have a freezer. So th I got a, um, it's a convertible. So it'll do fridge or freezer, right? That style. Yeah. So we're going to use it as a fridge. I'm excited. It's a setup it's for a long time before we plug it in because we had it laid down in the car. She's so tired. It's a busy day. So we did some of the edit, we got some of the edit done. Just picking out our footage. That's the important Why part. Why did she put my gingerbread house there? Did Abby do that? Why? Well, well, we didn't do it. She must have done it. Where was it? Over, Over there. there. She doesn't like it there. It's not good. It's not a good spot. You shouldn't line the hall, the walls with stuff, she says. <laughs> yeah. I was joking and said that our laundry room looked like your bedroom yesterday because <laughs> everything's on the perimeter. So Isaiah's got this thing where he lines his things around the <laughs> perimeter of a room. I don't know why. Your walking space. Yeah. Who puts their stuff in the middle of the like, But you, you like, you don't put anything, anything away. You just there, line the outside a, of the wall. There's an ADHD phenomenon called like the doom stack or something where it's like you'll have like a book and stuffed animal and a laptop and a bunch of clothes you gotta fold like there's just a pile in the corner it's a, it's people people have different mindsets like the way their brains work and, and that's cleaning right it's like and, a, and i know where every single thing is uh -huh. is a thing nobody else does we gotta go work on isaiah's truck too that's a this is a saturday boy we got just like endless things isaiah had brake noise in his truck yesterday so we gotta check that out we might be doing a brake job no diagnosis needed situation. So if y'all see, you see that metal square edge? Look from my point of view, Isaiah. Uh -huh. See that mm -hmm. corner right there? That's the metal backing on your brake shoe right there. Uh -huh. And that is, there's no brake pad left on that. You know what's also really handy in this situation? A good flashlight by Olight. Links in the description. Get yours down below. Black Friday sale, all that jazz. Okay, Yo, let's go look up parts. Get your I have an O-Light. You do have an O-Light. Look at you. Let's shine a light him. on this situation. Look at him with his little little flash of light on his keychain. Woo. You can get your coffee. And we'll uh, look up parts, see who has it in stock. Are you fussing at us? As soon as you walk out, the TV stopped coming. That's so good. <laughs> really? Yeah. You fix it? I fixed it. Good job. Yeah. I closed out and went back in. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. Y'all are being Isaiah left the toilet seat up. I left the fridge unlocked. Let's be real though. I haven't left the toilet seat up in 22 years. Right? That's not a common thing we do. We always put the toilet seat down. I know. So you're like, oh, and if this, if this old light isn't enough for you, we got another one over here just, just waiting to be used, sitting on the, on the charger. This is my bump in the night light. Like, this is like, there's a noise in the backyard. In just a couple hours, that O light will give Dad the opportunity to go hold it still and <laughs> and live out his. Yeah. What else are we gonna do? Is we're working on things, and I need Isaiah to hold something. Thank you. So it's right here. <laughs> he shakes my hand all over the place. Stop moving the flashlight. He needs brake pads bad. It hasn't. It has not ate into his rotors though. So I'm glad that you know. Yeah. You know he's at he's at the maturity level where he's like, there's a noise. I must discover what this noise is. He didn't yeah. just ride it out. To be fair, I I would have stopped, but I literally had three sessions. Yeah. It was, he, and I drove He all called me on his way to his first session and was like, hey, there's a noise coming from my truck. Like, no joke, and as soon as I hit the stop sign, he had never done that. You can't, I, you know, I'm proud of you too for not canceling sessions though, because of, you know, a little noise from the truck, because that's that's rough on parents. Not saying you shouldn't cancel sessions if you're if you're in danger, but, 
You know, I'm like, I how felt, is it stopping? He's like, it feels normal stopping. Like, okay, well, you're, you're yeah, well, it safety only, wise. It only okay. lurches on me or makes noise on me when I'm like rolling. So I was like, just don't roll. Like, <laughs> literally, just don't do that. So, you know, brakes, you're not going to, if you have brake noise, it is very unlikely that all of a sudden your brakes are just going to fail. Like, I want you to understand that. Like, you're just going to foot to the floor and nothing happened. Unless you're F1. That happens when you have no noise and a brake line breaks mm. and then your foot goes to the floor and the brakes don't work mm-hmm. but there's no noise associated with that what's that movie where there's a bomb on the car and they have to keep driving and it's speed a, speed that was yeah, a great on movie. the bus no no no, no. different one mm. well it's the same concept yeah that was a great movie speed was such a good keanu movie. reeves yeah, yeah keanu dog. Reeves. old school keanu so the lesson here we just ordered the parts they actually will bring it to your door which is good because i gotta edit the vlog for today here's the thing though, on time, quick but, question quick question how much is the delivery fee? Nine dollars. So it's I mean, I have these meal. I have other things to do. I don't. Well, how are you gonna get there? I can borrow your car. Right. I see no downside. <laughs> you don't have anything else to do. You just shot an entire video today. You don't have anything else to do, like all that editing that has to be done, schoolwork, all those things. Yeah, I have a lot of schoolwork that mm-hmm. I was gonna do. But... So there you go. So you have to measure like what the, but the lesson is not that you interrupted me. The lesson is. What's up? You want to go? Well, here's the thing. My car is in the shop. <laughs> learn how to do things. You know, like you could totally learn how to do a brake job off of YouTube. Yeah. They're going to tell you every single step on how to do things like that. So an average brake job for a four wheel brake job to do everything that needs to be done, you know, replace the brake shoes. Um, and, and the thing is, you're not going to get taken advantage of by a shop that tells you, oh, you need new rotors. You need to flush the brake system and all that. Most of the time, most of the time you don't. The, the point is 300 to $600. That's like, that's being pretty modest with it. Like that's pretty conservative with that estimate. You could be pushing closer to a thousand dollars. I think the last brake job that I heard someone pay for was, was over $600. Okay. Phew. I was like, this is going to cost me 300 to $600. It would if you went to a shop. Okay. Most likely, you're going to be in that $600 range. I don't think you've ever done a brake job, no. right? He's been around me a lot working on stuff, but I don't think he's ever done specifically a brake job. Yeah. And so he's going to learn how to do a brake job today. It's really not that complicated. Um, and it's going to save him 600 bucks. Uh, the parts in total were $70 delivered to our door. So Only thing I don't want to ever do, honestly, is an oil change. I don't like doing oil changes. Hey. I helped you with one one time. We can't go for a ride. we got to work on cars right now. <laughs> Out of the three, one has a dead battery. The other one needs a break. Can you believe that? It's crazy, right? The other one barely fit a fridge earlier. It's, she needs a break. What's up? Oh, we're getting ready to eat lunch. Yeah, mom's making lunch. Yeah. You should go check in. See if she go, she's Go doing. let us know if it's ready. Is it ready? Go check. <laughs> yeah, like these things can save you a ton of money, and you know you're not going to get taken advantage of. Because you're doing it yourself. You can have, you know, a friend that knows something about it, take a look at it, you know, whatever. But definitely learn how to do this stuff yourself. Oil changes? I get anxiety. Um, it's so easy. I know, but I saw that video of the lady that read up and thought she did her homework. Mm-hmm. And she bought the oil pan with the right size. Mm-hmm. And it was literally like, you know, that that water on a penny trick. Oil changes are getting the limit. Oil like, changes are getting more and more complicated. They, they kind of do that to make it. Harder for you to do it. 100%. Home. But still. I could do it. I yeah. could do it. I You're could not do saving it. a ton of money doing an oil change yourself anyway because there's a lot of places that will do it for pretty cheap. But yeah. Stuff like this, they will take advantage. We still haven't gotten there. Oh, how long does it take? Four, four sides. You kind of know what you're doing, but you're teaching me to um, take that extra. 30 minutes, 30 minutes per wheel. Let's call it 30 minutes per wheel. Huh. Just, just to be certain that there's no Yeah, but I'm young and spry, unlike your old archaic bones right so probably 45 minutes per wheel yeah yeah about an hour so this message also kind of applies more to young people not to that old people can't do it i'm just saying like you know you know i don't expect everybody to lay on the ground and change brakes but i i feel like a lot of young people today don't have the skills that they need to keep from being taken advantage of or the knowledge you know to avoid things like that or you know to save themselves money frankly i mean we're talking 10% of the cost. So, you young folks, open your hood every once in a while. See what's under there. It's pretty cool. Back in my younger years, I would have said, Oh, you need gloves for that job? Wow. 
<laughs> but uh, knowing how my hands look now, <laughs> yeah. where are the gloves? Thanks for getting the part where I was doing something that I could do. You look cool right now. You got the gloves yeah, yeah, and the yeah. ratchet going, you know? You look like you know what you're doing. 140 foot pounds of torque. I'm about 200. Let's just put like everything but a leg into it. Well, so you would use a torque wrench okay. if you didn't know what 140 foot pounds felt like. have to make the little uh-huh okay that's how you do it. that's how you ever use a torque wrench nope so when you get to the, when you get to the right amount on a torque wrench it goes mm -hmm. it's, it pops that's how you know i imagine you'd be like bracing against it and then it catch you in the chest huh it just okay. you just feel it hit <laughs> and then it kind of does a little snap that's, that's kind of cool i have it built in uh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's your body that's, that's how i know <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on it. It was still funny. You want to grab the torque wrench? Sure. I bet you. I, I bet you twenty dollars. I'm within five percent of 140 foot pounds. <laughs> this janky thing you got. That dude. That's that's old school technology. There. The I've got a. Handle, I've got a. I've got a modern moves. one, but that one's more accurate. I see. Okay. Look at there. Was Look at it. It was right on. <laughs> I, you ain't got to test the other ones. I know. I know for a fact you hit it. So that's, I get, how precise do you have to be with like lug nuts and things when you're using precise. a torque wrench? Not I was that. like, because that sounds super precise. It's no, just like, when the guys put your tires on the shop, there's like, <laughs> with a, with a impact wondering. gun. Yeah. Just everything that we did, change down his brakes and everything was for him, obviously. Didn't care. I got to spend the day with him. I told Priscilla, I was like, I needed that, you know? I needed a day with, with Isaiah just just doing stuff. It was it was good. Your parents just want to hang out with you. They don't care what you're doing, you know? It doesn't have to be an event. It doesn't have to be, you know, it can be disguised as helping you. They don't care. They just want to spend time with you, especially when you get older. And that doesn't change. If Priscilla called her mom and said, hey, mom, can you come help me with anything? She'd be here in a heartbeat. Yeah. Same thing with my dad, you know? just to spend time. So, Jaguars are playing. Go Jags. Football Sunday, whoop whoop. See you guys tomorrow, bye. Bye.